So Raj, once a company has an executive buy-in and once you've got the middle people all deciding we're moving forward with data and we're going to make better decisions based on data, how do you actually build that stack? How, do, how does someone put together, here's where we're going, that journey, that roadmap to start using data? So from a technology perspective, there are a lot of things to consider. The important thing is to know the big picture up front, uh, build out a data strategy and a platform and a technology strategy up front, which really informs all of the decision making that you do at different levels of the stack. Uh, one of the key things that we try to do is uh, when we make those decisions, we are trying to bring the best of breed technologies together. And at the same time, we are looking at what works best for a specific situation. No two clients are the same, no two situations are the same, no two use cases are the same, right? They'll have broad brush strokes which are common, but the nuances are what matter. And that's where when you put a technology architecture together and you start implementing a solution, you have to be open to the fact that you'll have to integrate a multitude of technologies from different vendors uh, that address the problem at hand. So when you're stitching that together, that platform, do you ever have to make special uh, connections to make them work together? Or is it just off the shelf and it works from multiple vendors? It's a mix of both. There are some vendors where straight out of the box because there are engineering synergies that a lot of these vendors have with each other. Uh, they happen to be in each other's uh, ecosystem and development plans and those products come together almost seamlessly. There are other vendors who are a perfect fit for what a client wants to do but it requires some level of uh, engineering effort from a uh, SI perspective in order to make the two tools talk to each other, right? And what we've seen is there's a general trend uh, towards uh, open source as well, right? Because of the velocity of development in, in the open source community, there are a lot of clients who want to get the best of what the open source community has to offer, not just the commercial vendors. And that's where uh, you know the ability to bridge the COTS products with the open source projects bring it all together and then deliver a, a data asset, a data outcome that somebody could use is, is, is very special. So is this, this sort of approach of multi-vendor, hybrid between open and proprietary and some maybe custom code piled in, is that the norm in industry today? That is definitely where people tend to go. Regardless of wherever the journey has started, they may have started off with a homogeneous stack, they may have started off on the other end of the spectrum where they try to do something purely open source. At the end of the day, there's convergence towards the middle where it becomes a mix of both. Uh, whether it's a migration or you do it at the start of the journey really is informed by how much of uh, planning did you do upfront in order to lay out that, that strategy. That decision-making framework really is the key to it. And so you guys help with that upfront planning. Yep. So all throughout the process, you're helping them figure out what their data journey is going to be and what outcomes they're looking for? Exactly, and and it's uh, it's also an evolution, right? Because you'll see that what you know today is probably not going to be a priority for you a year and a half, two years down the line. So as you go through that journey, uh, what you really think about is what's current right now from a top mind issues perspective for a client. And what do I need to do to go back to that roadmap that I built out and refresh that and make it relevant for what's happening now, right? Make it evolve, it's a living, living, breathing architecture. It's not something which is set in stone on day one and then you keep executing for three, four years. So Raj, last question from me. Do you hear a standard, we want to use X, like an X being Spark or Hadoop, or do you hear a lot of enterprise customers that have a requirement that they want to start doing X, Y, or Z, and what is X, Y, or Z? What is the number one, like, we want to do Hadoop, or, or what is it? I, it's, a, it's a great question, and, and typically I think there's a, a, a strong sway uh, related to the conferences such as this that occur. Uh, I'm pretty sure my clients will be asking a lot about machine learning and artificial intelligence coming deep, out of this deep week. Learning, right? yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So, so it really depends on what the buzzwords are, and that, that tends to ignite the conversation. The next thing to really have a dialogue about is, where are we in our overall analytics journey? Where are we in our overall data journey? And then realize that if that is the aspiration, what does it take for us to go from here to there, right? And make it happen in a very deliberate fashion such that your chances of success are elevated. Excellent, Raj, thank you for your time. Thank you.